How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Grafting Dragon Fruit. It's Richard and in this video today, I'm going to show you guys a new experiment that I'll be using to grow my dragon fruits. So make sure you watch to the very end so that way you guys won't miss a single thing. Now let's get started. I've been wanting a greenhouse for the longest time but never got around to getting one until I saw this greenhouse on Timu for about $168. It was so cheap, so you know I had to pull the trigger. And if you guys are interested in getting more information about this greenhouse and get a $100 coupon bundle for free, make sure you download the Timu app from the link in the video description below. You can also go to the Timu website and enter this code into the search bar, DMW8948, to claim the $100 coupon bundle. It can't get better than that, so make sure to check it out. Let's go. Wow. Packaging is nicely packed. Everything it looks so organized and looks simple enough to put together because everything is labeled. And I think that's the biggest key, guys. If they send stuff without labels, it's gonna be hard to put together, but it looks like everything is very nicely labeled. So I'm excited to put this together. It even comes with a catalog, manual, all the tools that you need to put it together, even supplying you with some gloves. So that way you guys don't accidentally cut or nick your hands. And let's see what's inside here. We have all of our bolts, some wrench tools, and more nuts and screws. All right, let's go ahead and put this all together. I'm finally done. That took me about two hours to complete this build. And I believe it could be a lot quicker if I didn't have to take some of the parts out and redo them. I tried my best to follow the instruction, but you guys have to be really, really precise with following the instruction because if it's not, one piece can literally throw off the whole build. So I thought everything was the same when I was putting it together and I just kind of thought I knew what I was doing and one point I was just like, okay, I built the front, the back should be the same. That was not the case. We put some pieces on, it looked correct, but it was all reverted and some of the pieces were not fitting flush. So we had to take it apart and do it over. But I'm so happy to say it is finally complete and I'm so happy with this greenhouse. It is a perfect starter greenhouse for me because like I said, this is a first time experiment. I never really used a greenhouse, but it's gonna be really cool to use this and see how it works for me in California. So I'm now gonna, I just left it here to set it up, but we have a permanent spot that we're gonna put it in. My cuttings are over here. They don't have a greenhouse yet, but I know this will improve their growth uh, because it's gonna be more of a controlled environment and all of those bugs and slugs, caterpillars that we're eating at my new growth, this is gonna help control all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead now, clean this area up, move the greenhouse, and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna use it for. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, it is easy. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, that is cool. All right, guys, I've just moved the greenhouse to an area that I think is gonna be perfect for all of my cuttings and for whatever I wanna use the greenhouse for. So very excited to see what I can use this for and I really make full use of it. But as for right now, I have all of these rooted cuttings that have been growing very well. The only problem is the slugs, the caterpillars, and the snails have been getting to the tip of my new growth and biting it all off. So today, I'm gonna move them into an indoor home for my dragons. And I know they're gonna love me for that. So let me just go ahead and take out all these cuttings, put this shelf in there, reorganize everything, and take a closer look at the greenhouse completed 
with plants inside. I'm so excited guys. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about what it's gonna look like right now. And uh, gotta really thank Timu for finally having something in my price range so that way I can have it in my home. And as you can see, I've been rooting a lot of cuttings for the purpose of putting it on my website. So that's, this greenhouse is actually gonna benefit you guys too because it's gonna help me expedite all the growth and have root cuttings to put on my website. So if you have trouble ever rooting cuttings, I'll have rooted cuttings for sale as well. And these are the last few pots. All right. I did buy a shelf from Timu, a wooden shelf for gardening. And they made it specifically for the greenhouse, but I haven't finished building that yet. Once I build that and put it in there, I'll show you guys the Timu shelf that I have. Wow, and this fits right perfectly, so that's really cool. And just like that, it's a perfect fit just in this corner. I can literally have two more shelves in here, even add a third shelf on here, and maybe put my Timu shelf right in the middle because it's nice and small and it's kind of tiered and kind of topples like an hourglass. Looks really cool, and I can already feel all of that humidity in here even with my window open. And that's the cool thing, you guys. My greenhouse comes with a window. I can close it or open it anytime I want. And if I just want it permanently open, it also slides open. So now I'm getting that fresh air and I can breathe again. <laughs> okay, so that's in. Let's go ahead and start moving all of these cuttings back in there and see what it looks like. You guys are probably wondering what kind of cuttings all of these are. And uh, what I have in my hand here is a Wallace Ranch Hybrid. If you guys don't know who Wallace Ranch is, they are a farm in San Diego. And they made this graph. They made this graph and then it was so Vietnam White and Sugar Dragon fused together. So this is something that they've always had and finally started actually selling cuttings of it. So I got one. I'm very excited to grow it because I tried it at their farm and I loved it. This is Edgar's baby, Vietnam Red. And I have some Wildberry Skittles rooting. So I have a good amount of Wildberry Skittles now. That's an Asunta 6 sister. So lots of that. Okay. I'm selecting all of the smaller ones to put on the bottom because the Taller ones might hit the top shelf. Wow, I'm so excited, you guys. This is so cool. These are Asunta 6, Katai 2, and I have. Oh, these are both Katai 2. This is a Puerto Rico variety, and this is Asunta 6, the nice pastel colored flower that's just so beautiful if you guys ever get to see a Sunta 6 flower in person it's like you're dreaming looking at this flower because it just looks so unreal i have a Sunta 5 sunset sherbet thai gold and more Sunta 6. be careful guys i almost broke a branch right there I'm going to position this in a way where I'm not breaking things. If my dragon fruits could talk right now, they would be saying, thank you, Richard. You guys bought me a house in California. And we know how much houses cost in California. Literally a million dollars for something just like this. So my dragon fruits are living in a million dollar home. <laughs> So the material on this, you guys, is actually really, really good. It's made out of aluminum and polycarbonate. And that's the glass looking like thing here. I thought it was acrylic at first, but it's actually made of polycarbonate, which is still really good. The UVs will bounce off of this. Once you guys buy this, it tells you guys the face that bounces reflects the UVs. So it actually has a purpose. 
not only just for protecting from weather, but it also reflects UV so that way they don't get sunburn or get too much UVs where it can cause them to get blisters or turn very, very yellow. So material is really good. And I love that it was light enough for me and Davian to carry over. So you need about two people <laughs> to build this and uh, it will make it a lot easier for you guys. So definitely if you have a friend, tell them, if you guys help me build my greenhouse, I will give you guys some dragon fruits. So that's how you entice your friends to come and help. And today's a very hot day. It's about 90 degrees as I'm doing the, as I was building this greenhouse, but we got it done. So I'm so happy about that. Okay, my last one, Sunset Sherbet. This is a big one and it's not gonna fit where I want it to go. So I'm just gonna put it right here until I build another shelf and start putting more inside. So I do have more over there that I eventually need to bring in. And I like to put, and when you guys are growing a lot of dragon fruit pots like this and you guys are rooting them, I like to put it on like a tray like this. So when it's time to move them, you don't have to move them one by one like you just saw me did over there. If I had some help, I would have just moved the whole thing. But I wanted to show you guys that it fit in there. So I'm gonna take this whole thing and go inside. Oh. I'm gonna slide it in. I'm gonna get in. So the door is a little bit of a tight fit but you guys can totally get it in. Okay. I think I'm gonna put that right here. Perfect. So I had an empty greenhouse. Now it's filled with all of my dragon fruit cuttings and it looks absolutely beautiful and very useful. It's time to give them all a nice watering and do a little bit of pruning so that way everything's not overly grown inside this greenhouse and it can be more manageable when I walk in. I don't want cuttings to be so long or new shoots growing so long that when I walk in it's going to smack my face and give me some scars. And I also got this expandable hose here. It's about 25 feet from Timu and it's going to be such a great addition to my greenhouse because now I can use this to go ahead and water everything that I need to in here. Let's go. Giving everything a nice watering because today is a very hot day. Um, but I need to be a little bit more careful in the greenhouse now because it's not sitting outside in the sun anymore. So I don't know how fast water evaporates. So I, and I don't want the water to be sitting in the soil too long where it can potentially cause root rot. So I'm gonna give it a nice light watering. And then every day, I'm just gonna check out how they are and adjust my watering from there. So once you guys get a greenhouse, make sure you guys are paying attention to how fast they're starting to dry out because now that it's in a controlled environment, they're not gonna dry out as quick. All right, I'm happy with all of the watering. Now I get to use this new shears, my garden shear here from Timu, and this can be yours too. To any user that scans the QR code, you can get this shear for $1. Yes, I said $1. You guys didn't hear me wrong. Look at the quality of this shear, you guys. It is heavy duty. It also has padding for your arm, and the spring here looks very high quality. You can also lock it if you need to. And this is just such a great quality shear for $1, you guys. And how to get it, you guys just gotta scan the QR code and then sign up and you get this for $1. That's a steal. So don't miss out on that, you guys. It's a special code that I got just for you guys. So don't miss out on that deal, all right? Let's go ahead and come here and prune some stuff. All right, over here, this cutting is just getting too long. It's about to fall out here. And I also have two new cuttings here. So I'll take this off and I'll save this to root inside my greenhouse. And the cool thing is guys, now that I have room here, I don't have to find an area to keep them safe no more. If I just put them in here, 
I know they're safe, bugs aren't gonna get them, sun isn't gonna scorch them, and if I just leave them in here, they can potentially just root just like this because of the humid in the area. So we're doing that. Let's see if I have any more to cut. I have two cuttings here from Taigo. This one is starting to get pretty long. It's gonna start clashing and just check out how nice and smooth this cut, you guys. Wow. I had to use very little force and squeeze just to cut that. And if you guys know dragon fruit, the cambium layer on this is very woody. So to cut into that, it's actually very hard, but these shears here made it so easy. Okay, I think that's all that I'm gonna do today. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys the shelf that I also got from Timu. This is a garden shelf that I just want to make my greenhouse look more attractive. And I got this for about $26 to $27. But just look at how it orientates my dragon fruit cuttings. It's beautiful. It fits in here perfectly. I might get another one and put it on the other side or another shelf like this. So that way I can just have all of my cuttings very organized. If I were to say how hard it was to build this, I would say it would be at a intermediate level. You don't need to be too smart to build this, but you just have to follow every single instruction and be precise with every single piece that you use. If you guys enjoyed this video and liked everything you saw today, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions or any comments about what I did today, leave in the comments below. And if you guys have not subscribed to this channel yet, hit that subscribe button so that way you guys will miss a single thing. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Grafting Dragon Fruit. Peace.